Okay, hey, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I uploaded yesterday my thoughts on the Final Fantasy VII Remix. So if you want to go see that, check that out. And I also live streamed the game when, like, when the demo like literally came out like immediately. And your boy got a job. So uh, hopefully in the near future, uh, when I start, you know, get some stuff flowing, uh, maybe some upgrades and some some different things in the future. The future is looking promising now. It's looking good. So yeah, so that's, uh, if you see my like My Hero Academia or Heroes Rising trip, I'm like plugging everything. I did I did say in that like vlog that pretty much I was, uh, I did an interview for the job that I wanted to go see the movie or whatever. So I did get the job, so <sighs> good shit. So uh, we're gonna be reacting to Seven Deadly Sins in the next episode, episode 21 of season four. So as per usual, I will lower the opacity, lower the audio, avoid copper race strikes, and let's get into it. Cause last week, Arthur was that dude. He looks intense. Literally, Excalibur is just straight up uh, one for all. <laughs> Oof. It's the first time Zeldris looks awful. Oh, man. Man, that was so dope. But Arthur had like some spotlight. And you're going to tell me that it was basically for nothing? I mean, granted, if that was the case, then he literally could have just soloed everyone. Oh, man. They just robbed Arthur of his spotlight. Oh, so he's not even... So he's not awakened yet. Oh, she told Merlin. Yeah. So it seems like his, how badass he was, he still was badass, but the thing is he hasn't awakened his magical power. So he's not full power yet. So if, if he gets more power, then I'm really interested in seeing how like he's, it's going to go down. Wait, what? Literally blood just faded in on his clothes. Oh my God, he is like Midoriya. He can't even like use the power fully. Can I, can I just say, I'm not tired of it, but why does every time a hero inherits power or something, none of those powers are, like, something to withstand the power? Because every time someone comes in, like, every anime, without fail, if you're gonna have power inherited, your body will suffer if you can't, if your body can't handle it. Like, why can't one of them be like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm a be a little bit vanilla, and I'm just gonna be like, you know what, my power to help you in the overall future is to like make sure when you use the power that your body like adapts to it. Like every time it happens. Hey, what did he do? What? Resonant. Oh! That, oh my, wow, Asha. I mean, I don't complain. That was so smooth the way she just like flicked him. Why does she like Arthur so much? I wonder. I mean, just uh, aside from fairy tales. Askinor is so triggered. Oh, yeah, he did that thing before. So can you see where he's at? Oh, oh. Oh, no. What is what's happening with the cat? What the hell? So that's what Resonant does? Is he dead? Bro, no way. What? Wait, 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 wait. Did it, is he really dead? Are they really gonna kill Arthur like that? <sighs> nah, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. I like how even as like a youngin, she just showed him hella cleavage. Like, what is that? <laughs> no wonder he got attached, bro. You were you, you made him the ultimate simp and you groomed him. Bro, what? He raced with horses? Escanor, it's not about you. <laughs> you arrogant. Piece of shit, I love you. Aw, Escanor. I feel so bad for Escanor, but also like Arthur's a great person, so I can't be like mad. Alright, I know we're only like 13 minutes into the episode. Let me know in the comments down below if you're one playing the new Seven Deadly Sins mobile game called Grand Cross. 
It's out now on Global. So if you're playing that, let me know if you are, because I'm playing that shit too. It's super fun. And you got I got a homie that watches it or plays it on his channel called Ignite, and he has amazing content. So if you want, check him out. Two, what are the odds that Arthur is actually dead? Uh, I, I'm, I'm betting some one for all type ish is gonna happen, and that maybe one of the heroes or like the the past heroes and aren't gonna let him die. Just what I think. Uh, I could just because you don't you don't bring something that important into the story and not do something with it, right? Of course, Hendrickson did. Doesn't it suck that Guilt Thunder was only? I paused it. What? Doesn't it suck that Guilt Thunder was only cool in the first like hat like season, and that was it. After that, kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, so Meliodas just leveled up again. Hawks is true. I mean, granted, we knew he was the most powerful person in the verse, but. Yo, her things are like. Who? Oh, he's asking her to marry? Marriage? Bro, ask it on Leo. <laughs> it was you two who came to where I am. <laughs> Bro, Ascador looks like a fucking pimp. That color scheme is weird, but I love it. Got that lion fur. Oh, Golter's back. Ascador is about to send them back to the emergency room. Oh no. See, this is that shit I'm talking about. Oh, Luthus has cast Breath of Bless on all of them. Yeah, so they're all like brainwashed and like full on. I'm, I just want to like, I, I'm, I'm just full on ready to fight. Oh man. <sighs> Hendrickson sucks. <laughs> Damn, what did they do to the ends? But what the hell is that? Like, the art is just all over the place. This music is bumping though. I'm getting like I legit not not gonna lie. I like I didn't feel that excited, but now this music is like. It's energy. Why? Oh, I'm excited now. Whew, I'm getting goosebumps. Okay. Okay, that was the episode. Something's up with Meliodas, though. So he's, like, upgraded now. He has, like, freaking, what, like, five commandments or six commandments on him? Uh, so that was the episode. Uh, pretty wild, honestly. Like, so we know Escanor is irritated because his, his ego is kind of, like, fractured. And he's hurt because, like, now he's not even getting attention from Merlin anymore. Uh, Golter's back. Arthur's dead. Some out of nowhere. Bond is still in somewhere. <laughs> Not here. Um, what else? And yeah, the war is starting. Yeah, because I, I, I think it's what 24, 25 episodes this season. So it makes sense that it's, you know that the war would start now and then uh, lead into the last like four or five episodes. So while I am excited. I, I'm hoping, I pray to whatever that they that they they have some. I know the scheduling, and, and I don't really blame the studio and the animators and all that because like Seven Deadly Sins has got a, a bad like they just got a bad draw. I can't really blame the people involved. Like I'm sure they're trying to do their best for what happened, but 
I, I just hope that that means the kind of mech quality season we had it gets better by the end and they do some stuff pretty cool um but yeah i mean because i'm assuming we're gonna have a lot of hype fights from now on and just fighting so yeah but overall i like the episode though it was pretty good so uh i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you guys do like comment subscribe and share the video if you enjoyed and guess what if you're seeing this right now one thank you two leave a like three comment i will be watching castlevania tomorrow and i will be posting my reactions uh it will be probably after work i don't think before and uh let me know if you uh the way i'll do is probably try to do one or two episodes depending on how many episodes are out i'll probably do one or two at a time and then continue or just do one and pop and then it's continue it but so yeah castlevania tune in so love you all take care bye guys